How's it going everybody? It's your boy Mike from Seattle. All around good guy, small time real estate investor, duly elected sheriff of the internet. And I'm here because they're the absolute destroying of the laws of the internet. Okay, Jamil Damji. If like me, you are inundated on the regular with ads trying to sell you wholesaling courses. I'm a real estate investor. I've been investing in real estate since 2009 and flipping courses. But you can't flip houses, you don't have any money. And real estate investing courses. Stock pattern, traded over and over again, month after month. If, like me, you see those at the beginning and middle and end of every single Graham Stephan or Meet Kevin video that you could possibly watch, then you've probably seen the wholesale genie. Let's crack it! I'm the wholesale genie and I can grant you three wholesale wishes. So what I want to focus in on here is how Jamil Damji actually uses the cringe effect to bring eyes and get people to watch his ads and then somehow he turns them around and makes them customers. Now, most of the time when somebody uses a really cringy or really annoying ad, the purpose of the ad is just to burn the brand into your mind and maybe they'll use other ads somewhere else in order to build up a little credibility with their brand right now the difference is with a fake guru if they show themselves as idiotic or stupid or cringy or weird to then try to flip the script and now appeal to you from an authority figure position where they're going to say hey i'm going to instruct you on how to be a better wholesaler i'm going to teach you how to be a better flipper where do you find high net worth buyers well the trick guys is to find out where they live i don't know what his what his end game is here but the guy runs ads on facebook instagram and youtube literally i cannot even peruse social media without being inundated by this ridiculous ad stream from this guy so what we're gonna watch is him completely ruin the movie aladdin for me and now you you're welcome the skip button ad on the bottom right hand side of the screen has never looked so beautiful it was incredibly tempting but i sat through a minute straight of pain on my eyeballs and you're gonna just have to bear with it with me so let's watch him. Gosh, i wish there was a wholesale genie let's crack it i'm the wholesale genie and wow. i can grant you three wholesale wishes R really well first i'm broke i've spent all my money on direct mail and bandit signs and i haven't even had my phone ring once my first wish is for is for free seller leads granted Wow! Oh my god! Alright, okay, well, well then, um, um, uh, my, my second wish, my second wish is for a cash buyer whenever I want him, and, and he's gonna have to pay top dollar. Granted! No way! Well then, well then, for my third wish, my third wish is for a mentor, a mentor who can help me have wish one and wish two over and over and over again. Then you're gonna wanna click the link below. Okay. Ain't never had a friend like me. I don't know about you guys, but that was pretty bad. Uh, I, 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 I assume he was going for the "I'm the genie from Aladdin" by quoting the song and painting himself blue. You ain't never had a friend like me. I don't remember the genie having a big golden hat. I thought he had like a black ponytail. Maybe I need to go back and rewatch the movie. Okay, I'll go ahead and cede the Aladdin cosplaying expertise over to Jamil Damji because clearly he is outdoing me there. Uh, I don't think he can hold a tone the same way or tune the same way that Robin Williams can, but you know what? Nobody's perfect. It's all good. Um, again, I really want you to pay attention to how he uses cringe. He is making you watch his ad because you're like, this is so horrible. I just can't get away from it. So it's a clever advertising strategy. Strategy. It is effective, but will it actually turn and keep somebody and flip them into a consumer? I don't know. He's run tons of ads. I've seen tons of his ads. He's a, he goes the obnoxious route. Welcome to my dad's YouTube channel. If you want to know how to find high net worth buyers. Like he jumps out from behind a chalkboard and he's like, hey, do you want to learn how to wholesale better? And I'm like, hey, I'm waiting for the five seconds to pass so I can skip your ad on YouTube. And I I'm praying for a time machine just so I can get there faster. That, that's really all I get from his ass. Anyways, if you're a wholesaler out there, 
and you've watched Jamil Damji's ads or taken his course, I would love to talk to you if you want to leave a comment down below because I'm confused as to what astro flipping is. Uh, believe it or not, he defined it in his website because you can't find it defined anywhere else. The only place I could find it defined was on his website prior to going into the paid portion where all of the secret sauce is. Yeah, that's legit. He defines it as, and I'm not making this up, he wants you to envision an astronaut floating around in space, I assume not hooked onto any ship. Then he wants you to envision this astronaut doing a somersault or flipping forward. But because he's in space, there's nothing to slow him down. And he'll just continue to flip forever. And that's the analogy and metaphor he has chosen in his infinite creative wisdom and prowess to use to compare that flipping to house flipping, just as easy as Buzz Lightyear can turn around. Your, your house is, I, honest, it was a bit of a stretch in my mind, I don't know, but that's his explanation for it. So, hey, we're just gonna roll with it. All right guys, I needed to change your scenery. So maybe you're asking yourself, well Mike, what is astro flipping? What does Jamil Damji actually sell? And that's a great question. That's unbelievably hard to find concrete evidence online for. So I went and looked all over the place and really the only places that I could find actual good definitions was the Bigger Pockets podcast group forum website, all right? I don't really usually trust the fake gurus websites because they can say they sell whatever. I like YouTube reviews and I like Google reviews and I like Twitter screenshots and I like comment sections of YouTube videos or someone who actually purchased the product can give a good review. So going on the Bigger Podcasts website, I found out what Astro Flipping is. I'm gonna break it down for you. Essentially, if you know what wholesaling is, the wholesaler is the middleman. You go out and you find distressed properties. Somebody's been divorced, somebody inherited something, somebody passed away, or the property's just a piece of crap and you wanna try to buy it for cash way under what the market value of it would be. So as the wholesaler, you go out and you say, hey, I'll buy this property for 80% under what it's worth or 50% under what it's worth. And maybe someone says, yeah, I guess we'll sell it because either they don't know what the value of the property is or they're distressed and need to sell it for some reason. You then take that property that you don't actually have the money for. You find an investor, a fix and flip person or a turnkey provider. And My second wish is for a cash buyer whenever I want him. And, and he's gonna have to pay top dollar. Granted, no way. You say, hey, look, I've got this property that's way under market value. I bought it for 100 grand. It's really worth 250. What if I just sell it to you for 150? You give me 50 grand and you keep the other 100 grand. That's how wholesaling works in a nutshell. So how does Jamil Damji fit in? Well, as the wholesaler, you're already the middleman in this transaction between seller and investor. Now Jamil Damji or Astro Flipping is adding an additional middleman. The common issues that most wholesalers find is it's very difficult to actually get leads that can convert to sales, right? They'll spend thousands of dollars in mailers or they'll put up the bandit signs or they'll put up the we buy ugly houses billboards, but they can't get anybody to give them a phone call, much like the ad showed. My first wish is for, is for free seller leads. Granted. So what Jamil does is he can provide some leads to you that you can go and follow up on. And then once you've found a deal, or even if you just find your own deals, you don't have to use his leads, you bring it to them. And they have a list of institutional investors who will purchase houses immediately if they fit a certain criteria. So you're looking for these houses and then you bring it to him and he will guarantee that an investor will pay for it. And what happens at that point is now you split your commission, your 50 grand or whatever it was you would have made, you split that 60-40 with Jamil. So if it was 50 grand, you're going to make 60% of that, which is like 28,000 bucks, and he's going to make 22,000 bucks off of that deal. That's one way that the astro flipping works. The other way that it works is, let's say you're a wholesaler, but maybe you don't enjoy door knocking or cold calling, or you don't have the money to put a bandit sign. So instead what you do is you join a real estate investing group, and you go out there and meet other wholesalers. And these other wholesalers are doing the work of finding properties, but unfortunately they can't find a buyer to buy it. And so the contract that they sign saying, hey, I'll buy this, and assign it to somebody else within 30 days is coming up on expiration. Maybe there's 10 days left. What you're going to do is tell that wholesaler, hey, look, man, here's what I can do for you. I'll buy that contract for you, and then you bring it to Astro Flipping or Jamil Damji, and he'll buy it from me. He still keeps his 40%, and now you and the other wholesaler are going to split the remaining commission 50-50 or whatever you come up with and decide is fair. So essentially, you're now a middleman for the middleman and the other middleman who's gonna sell, buy from the original seller and sell to the 
original buyer. So, I mean, really, you're just adding layers and layers in here. So the profit margin gets whittled way down. But the benefit is, at least in that last one, you really don't have to do any work. I mean, heck, you just go to a real estate meetup, make friends with these wholesalers, and when they run out of something, you say, hey, I know a guy who can buy it. And you're making a sliver of a margin in there, but you didn't really do much work for it. So I guess, in theory, on paper, this doesn't sound too bad. Here's where I get concerned. If the system that Jamil Damji is bringing forward really makes all your money in finding wholesale deals and bringing it to him and everybody gets paid that way, then why are his courses so expensive? Why is he doing the typical YouTube fake guru route where you spend where he encourages you to spend an exorbitant amount of money to get certified or connected or into his inner circle? So for his primary package, when you click the link below, when you get on that call, that sales call with one of his representatives, they are hard selling you on $5,800 price tag. Uh, and it's marked down, of course, if you buy it within 24 hours of their seminar, of course. Uh, or you can be a member of like the executive package for like 7,600 bucks. Okay, let's say, and I see his ads literally everywhere. Let's say he's running tens of thousands of ads, a thousand ads. If even 1% of those thousand ads convert, right, that's 10. 10 times a $5,000 price tag is 50,000 bucks. And I'm sure he's running hundreds of thousands of ads and converting one to 3% like a lot of these people do. I mean, the guy's making money at an insane rate just doing what all fake gurus do, which is selling courses. So in my opinion, I don't think that the astro flipping is his first business of choice. I think selling YouTube courses is where he makes his money. And sure, like the rest of them, he's got a legitimate business, I guess, so that he can stand up to the scrutiny, but really he is hammering hard on getting people to buy his course, and he's got a huge price tag. If it really worked as well as he says it does, you'd be like, hey look, here's some forms you sign, I'll put you through a quick training so you know how to present our stuff, and then you bring me deals and I make money off of it. That's why most real estate investors out there aren't making wholesalers pay them to bring them the deal. It's no man, you've got a deal, of course I'm gonna buy it, let me get that from you. But the middleman's gotta step in and make his money in two different ways. I guess it's a smart business strategy. Is it ethical? I'll leave that up to you. Let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video and you want me to break down more about what these fake gurus or these questionable business antics, these ads that you see at the beginning of all your videos, if you want me to break those down, just let me know and we'll catch you next time.